Hello families, this is Meg Killingsworth and this is a short video about the importance of reading daily um, for your child. This year at Chester T, we are really stressing that reading and making reading fun to help children to become better readers. So it goes back to this chart. We have showed this many, many times. And you can see when a child reads 20 minutes per day at home, the amount of books in comparison to a child who only reads five minutes per day or a child who reads one minute per day. So students who read 20 minutes a day score in the 90th percentile on those standardized tests. That means they would score higher than 90 kids taking that same test. And really the reason why is because they are introduced to that many more words um, per year when they're reading 20 minutes and they're reading that many more minutes. So over time, it really, really increases. So research shows that to become a better reader, we simply just need to read. There is a huge power of choice. And reading for enjoyment is great reading practice. I think sometimes as a mom, I think that a worksheet might be good reading practice or actually working on a skill. But the only way that a child will ever learn to love reading is if they have time to read the material that they actually enjoy. Um, it's so important that they get to pick up books and magazines and things that they get to enjoy. And when they want to read it, then they will become a better reader. Families can really help by having students read at least 20 minutes a day and letting your child choose the book of his or her choice. So really today it's, it's talking about kind of how to do that at home with your busy schedules. In our house, we actually have reading on our chore chart. So this is my fourth grader's chores that she does. Um, reading 20 minutes is on there. Now for her, we have always read right before bedtime. So it wasn't such a big deal to continue that 20 minutes um, for her. She reads and it is instilled in her. That's what gets her sleepy at night. So she reads automatically at home. For my six-year-old, we had a little bit of a different routine, and bedtime was a little rockier with her than with the older child. And so our time to read is right after dinner and homework. She goes to our media center library every single day and gets two new books. That is the love of her life. That's why she loves school. So she brings those books home, and every day we get her homework done, and then she and I sit on the couch and we read her book sent from class, and we read her um, two library books from our media center, and that's our routine. So really, it's about finding the routine that works for you. I've heard lots of families say they do homework right after school, and that's when they have to do their 20 minutes of reading before going outside and having fun. If that works for your child, that is wonderful. Um, it's just finding that time in your day that actually works for all of you. So here's an example of our chore chart, just so you could see that we put that on there and allowance counts on getting all of these things done. And then reading resources. Um, the first one listed is just our media centers. Um, students in first through fifth grade can go to our media center every single day if they would like to. Um, kindergartner, maybe not quite as much. It takes them a little bit longer to read, but I know first through fifth can definitely go every single day. Another option is our public library. I hear so many people talk about the Hampton Library and the Cumming Library. Those are great resources for you. And then the third one is ClassLink. Before I show you ClassLink, I'm going to go to our next slide and just show you this resource that we have. So looking at your child's reading level right here, this shows our Lexile level. And when kids start their milestone testing, um, the Lexile level will be shown on that. 
We also use a program called Myon that ranks children's and figures out their Lexile level. You kind of can use that as a guide, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. Teachers here at Chesity often use the Fontis and Pinnell reading testing um, system, and that gives us a letter. And then our library has um, book colors that go along with reading levels. So once you find out this level from your child's teacher and what level your child's reading on, if your child were to come to our library, then they could find a book in that color that coordinates with their reading level. If you go to the public library, their books are rated as Lexile ratings. So you could go and you could find a book within that range. So for example, Kate in first grade is reading um, level E. And so if we were to go to the library, then we would pick out something that is under 200 for our Lexile rating. Um, if we were to go to our media center, I would say I want you to find a book that has a gray sticker on it or maybe a yellow sticker on it. And then those are going to be in her reading zone. So that's just kind of a great resource to have for when you travel to the library and you're looking for books that your child can actually read independently. Going back to ClassLink, this is another great resource that we've gotten plugged into in my family this year. So when I click on um, our Chastity webpage and I go to ClassLink, I would log in as my child. So I'm going to use Kristen, my fourth grader's login information. I'm going to pretend like I am logging in as her. And then I'm going to go and I've got all these resources right in here that she can actually read from. So the first one I want to show you is Myon. And I love Myon because it actually gives the kids a little quiz to find out what their interests are. And then it keeps track of how much time they've spent reading in Myon and it pulls up books that are on their level. So going back to that Lexile level that we talked about on the last resource, here's her Lexile level. So if I wanted to take her to the public library, I could find books right around there. And then these books that they are putting in front of her are on her level and they um, are in response to the quiz that she has filled out. And she came home a couple weeks ago and said, Mom, I'm really into urban legends right now. So with it being close to Halloween and trick-or-treating, you can see she's very into pirates and Halloween and hauntings and that kind of thing. So these books um, she can click on and then she can read them right from home. And there are thousands upon thousands of books. Other great resources here, if you have little ones, Book Flicks is a great resource. And I love this because the kids can say that they want to watch a movie, but the words are there and it highlights the word. So if I click on Animals in Nature and I want to go into the Ant and the Grasshopper and say, watch the story. My read along button is on, so those words are going to pop up and it'll read right there to her. We'll fast forward just a little so that you can get an idea of what I'm what I'm talking about. So you can see that going into that program, they can read right along with the story or they can click a book that they want to read themselves and that will come up. Along those same lines, we have um, science flicks and book flicks or um, true flicks that are also under ClassLink and studies weekly. So your child, if you can log in at home, has tons and tons of books that they can actually read at home. So great resources right there for you. 
coming soon at our next APTT meetings. Kindergarten and first grade will continue with more reading games to help you to practice at home. And then second through fifth grade, we did math last time. So we are going to be moving on to some reading resources and giving you games to practice great reading at home. That'll be coming in January. And if you want some more fun games to help with reading practice at home, please stop by the Family Resource Room or contact me, Meg Killingsworth. Here's my email and my phone number. You don't even have to come in. If you just would like um, to reach out to me, I can always send a fun game home with your child. So reading is key. Spending that 20 minutes a day is key. There are some fun ways um, to get your hands on books for your child and practice at home. Thanks for joining us. See you soon, everybody.